Hello everyone and welcome to PokerStars VR. This is currently a free-to-play, no-limit Texas Hold'em play money game with optional in-game purchases. This video is a comprehensive tutorial, so if you are looking for specific information, please see the timestamps in the description below. When you launch the game, you'll find yourself here in the lobby. The first thing you need to do is adjust your settings. You can do this by squeezing the bottom grip and touching the thumb pad to make a pointy finger and then press your watch. Access the settings by pressing the cog on the top right. Under the first tab, Gameplay. Turn on Hand Strength, Card Holograms, Auto Top Up, Auto Rebuy, Smokable Locks and Privacy Bubble. If you want to have fun on the tables with props, make sure Mute Props is switched off. Then, select Teleport in Lobby Movement to change it to Dash. This will help you to move around the lobby more easily. Then go to the Graphics page. I recommend setting your graphics to minimum initially as it will prevent crashes and you can always increase them later. If you do crash at tables, you can message a dev on Discord for a refund. If you are a streamer or if you have friends or family that would like to watch, ensure that Mirror Monitor is set to ON. Under the Audio tab, change the audio levels to around 50%, make sure the dealer voice is set to ON and that the voice commands are turned off. This will prevent mistakes until you get used to playing. Oculus users would automatically log on with their Oculus avatar. Steam users can select their avatar via the Avatar tab. There will be many avatars available to choose from. Many players will find that a four color deck will help them while playing the game. To choose a four color deck, go to your stash, then skins, then select the green ace of clubs. New accounts will start the game with 10,000 free chips. This will be topped up to 50,000 every Monday. You can also spin this wheel multiple times a day to receive extra chips. To do this, use your thumbstick to create a teleport on the floor. Place it over the blue circle until the diamonds appear and release. A handle will appear in front of you. Spin this handle. and your free chips will appear. And now we're ready to play. But what should you play? There are currently three options. We have Cash, Sit and Go and Spin and Go. Cash games allow you to remain at the same table for as long as you would like and leave with however many chips you have in front of you. Sit and Goes are small tournaments with no rebuys, so if you lose all of your chips, you are out of that game, and prizes are only awarded for first to third place. Spin and Goes are faster tournaments with only three players, and random prizes are awarded to first place only. To learn more about these poker formats and strategies, you can register to PokerStarsVRSchool.com for free access to all our poker coaching videos. When you have selected the type of game you wish to play in the Games tab, you'll see all of the tables available. You can join a random game by pressing Quick Seat, or choose a specific game from the list. You can narrow this list down by using the search filters. The stakes are shown here. I recommend new players stick to the lower stakes tables, and some tables will not be accessible until you have built sufficient bankroll to join them. Select one of these tables to see the names of the players at the tables and where they are sitting. Green dots represent your friends. You will be able to see the chips in play at the table and you can join by pressing join game on the right. If you wish to host your own game, you can select the host tab on the top bar. You can then choose the number of players allowed at the table, select the stakes, create a password if you would like a private table, and choose the location. Then select Create Table. 
At the table, you are able to detach your watch menu by grabbing the top left hand side and positioning it wherever feels comfortable. Oculus users can add friends using the Oculus desktop app. If you have friends, you are able to view them under the social tab. Friends that are online are in green. If you select these players, you're able to invite them to the table. If you receive an invite, you'll have a notification on the top left hand side just here. If you select, you'll be able to accept or decline. Click on the table tab and you will be able to see all of the players at the table. Their stack size will be shown underneath their name and the total amount in the pot at any time will be shown here. You can select any player on the table to view their statistics and select game results to view everybody's profit and loss for this session. During tournaments, there will be an info tab, which will show you the blind levels and the payout structure. To join the game, select the chips tab and press buy. This will buy you in for the maximum amount. The chips will appear on the table along with your start card. To handle your chips, all you need is your index finger on the index trigger. Place your index finger into the chip stack and select the amount you require. Then squeeze the index trigger to pick the chips up. Release the trigger to put the chips down again. It's that simple. You can move entire stacks around by picking them up and placing them wherever the hologram appears. You can use this method to build pyramids and you can change the denomination of your chips, this is called colouring up and colouring down, by selecting the amount equal to another chip. So if I select two 500s and press the button on my wrist, it will turn into one 1000. If I select five 1000s and press the button on my wrist, it will turn into one blue 5000. And if I press it again, that will turn back into five yellow 1000s. To start the game, use your index finger and bottom trigger to pick up your start card and throw it into the centre. When a new game starts, the cards will be dealt and the blinds will be posted automatically. To look at your cards, all you need is your index finger. Hover your hand over the card, squeeze the index trigger and roll your hand backwards. This will peel the cards upwards so you can see them. To pick up your cards, squeeze both the top and bottom trigger. And if you would like to flip your cards, you can press the thumbstick. This command may be different for headsets other than the Quest and HTC, like the Odyssey which uses up on the thumbpad. Headsets other than Oculus can have their keys rebound on Steam. If you hover over the cards and swipe your thumbstick to the left, and then select grab, you will pick up just one card. Again, you can press the flip button to turn this card over. When cards have been flipped in this way, they can be seen by all other players at the table if you are heads up. That's if there are only two people left in the hand. If there are five players left in the hand, they will still only be visible to you until there are only two players left. To raise, select the amount of chips you would like to raise by and place them over the line. To call, select the chips that are already here and place them over the line. And to check, swipe your hand through the green checkbox. If you do not make one of these actions before the timer runs out, you will fold if there has been a raise or check if there has been no raise. To go all in, Place your wrists together, spread your hands wide and push your chips following the arrows towards the centre of the table. And when you win a hand, balloons will appear. If you would like to take a break, it's polite to sit out. To sit out, go to your watch menu and on the chips tab, select the sit out option on the bottom. If you sit out at a full table, this will give you 15 minutes before you're removed from the table. And to return, simply press cancel and you will be dealt into the next hand. 
Every minute that you play in PokerStars VR will earn you one VR cred. These credits can be used to purchase items, props or apparel for sale in the store. The store can be found in your main menu. It is updated daily, but some items are always available. The amount of credits you have available are shown on the bottom left. And the cost of the item is on the right. You can scroll through several pages. Items with a C in the bottom corner are consumable items. That means once they're used, they are gone. All other items will remain permanently in your inventory. The inventory tab shows all the items you own. To spawn a prop, simply select it and grab it. There are tons of items available in the store, including paintball guns, laser swords, smokables, lighters, think that was a spy cigar and even rock and sock and robots jewelry hats badges and masks can be found under the apparel tab in your inventory to view an item on your avatar select it and then press the check to apply Every level of Cash, Sit and Go and Spin and Go has its own weekly leaderboard which resets on Sunday nights. There are prizes for first to third place on each leaderboard and a ring is awarded to the leaderboard winner. These leaderboards can be seen in the lobby above the wheel and on the PokerStars VR Discord channel. Joining the PokerStars VR Discord channel not only connects you to the community so you can quickly get answers to all of your questions and access the content produced by other community members, but it also gives you extra in-game props, access to weekly tournaments with huge prizes, and is the place where you can contact the developers. Community Manager Jordan is always active, so if you have any problems, send him a message on Discord and he will resolve it ASAP. If something is not allowed in a casino, then it's not allowed in PokerStars VR. This includes racist and sexist language or behavior, verbal or physical abuse, collusion, which is where two or more people work together and share information about their cards to win chips from another player, and chip dumping, which is deliberately losing chips in any way to another player or account. Bans are issued for these actions, so be nice to our community or be removed from it. You can report a player to the development team for inappropriate behaviour by accessing the social tab and selecting players. You can then choose a player and report them for any of these actions. You can also mute their voice and mute their avatar. This means you'll no longer be able to see or hear them. If they continue to cause you problems with their props, go to the settings tab, gameplay and mute props. It may sometimes be helpful to reset your position in-game. Oculus Rift and Rift S users can do this by pressing both thumbsticks together at the same time. Your position will reset based on the position of your head. So to move the table further away from you, lean forwards and press both the thumbsticks. And to move the table closer to you, lean backwards and press both thumbsticks. Other headsets such as the Vive, Index and Quest require you to press the home button and select this option from the menu. Oculus users can also use their menu to open their virtual desktop. Click on the menu button, select virtual desktop and your screen will appear. You can use the bottom trigger to grab the screen and pull it in and out with the thumbstick. Press the pin on the bottom right hand corner. Your desktop will remain in view when you close the menu. And if you press the keyboard, your virtual keyboard will appear. You can also resize this screen by holding the bottom trigger and pressing to the left or the right. Once pinned, this screen will remain visible at all times. This is helpful for streamers who may wish to look at OBS whilst they're streaming and playing, and also anyone who enjoys the EPT. 
If you would like to close it, press the Home button again and select Minimize on the bottom right. PokerStars VR also has a virtual camera. This camera can be found on the Social tab above the Twitch chat icon. Your camera can be used to take selfies, as well as pictures of other players. These pictures will be stored on your PC in the Windows Pictures folder. The camera is also helpful to streamers as by pressing the red record button, you can use it as a third person camera to replace POV. Those of you who are streamers are able to view your Twitch chat on a virtual panel. To access Twitch chat in Game go to where Oculus is installed. By default, this is program files on the C drive. Then go to Oculus, Software, Software, Lucky VR Inc. PokerStars VR, PokerStars VR Data and Streaming Assets. Open the Twitch CFG text file, delete what is in the file and enter your channel name. This is case sensitive. Save the file and close the text editor. You do not need to restart the game for this to work. Just open the chat panel from the left hand side of your menu's social tab. You can then reposition the chat panel to wherever is convenient. Well, I hope you found everything you need in this video. If you would like to learn how to play poker, please look at our poker fundamentals and hand ranking videos in the description below. Those two videos along with this tutorial should be everything a beginner needs to get started playing poker in VR. If you would like to learn more about poker and poker strategy, I am launching the new PokerStars VR School in January 2020. You can register for this free content at PokerStarsVRSchool.com to receive notifications when the new content is available. We are not currently part of or funded by PokerStars or Lucky VR, and we make no profit from the content we make. However, PokerStars are currently running a search for their new VR ambassador. So if you do find our videos helpful, you can vote to make my dream of becoming ambassador come true when you reach 1000 hands played. Every ounce of support will be appreciated, and I hope to see you all in game soon. Good luck at the tables!